Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. I want to wish you a happy new year, happy and blessed new year. What we did different this year was each member of our church shared. God bless you. As you hear, Rashad. We homeless, the people that are overlooked. Um, it was a passionate, like, I, it just hit me out of nowhere as me and her were talking. I just started thinking about homeless people. The Lord, I believe, is saying, many of you have overlooked my people. Many have you, many of you have written my people off because you look upon them as thumbs of the earth, as the very last to, to be desired, the very last to, to be cared about because you see them as nothing. You let your riches, your wealth, be your God. You think because you have that, that you're better than them. But I'm here to tell you that they're actually more richer than you. Because when I come back, they're going to be first. You shall be last. And I told you on that day that I shall judge you. You did not feed me. You did not clock me. You did not visit me. And you want to say, well, we did this and we cast this and we, we, what, what do you mean? Well, those that you overlooked, they were me. They were me. Many of them are hurting inside. The yeah, other are few that take advantage of, you know, people's hearts and they, they, they lie and say they're homeless and they're not. I would take care of them. Vengeance is mine. But what is wrong with your heart? Why do you see a person down and out? and you ridicule them. They're already down. Why do you kick them down even more? You need to have a change of heart. And you need to realize that you're not better than them. Because that same rich that you have, those same riches that you have, I can take them away from you. And guess what? You'll be right along with those people that you shine, that you look down upon. It's this song that God gave me, and it's, basically the hearts of those people that are overlooked this is what their heart is saying how does it feel to finally be free i wonder will i ever love sometimes i dream of how that can be to have the life that I want. Take one look at me. What do you see? Do you understand my story? Because all I want is love for someone else to see. If you took the time, I have a song. But for so long, I've been searching for something that will probably allow me to find. But no matter how hard it gets, no matter if the tears fall, Nothing should stop us from trying oh, 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 oh. Take one look at me What do you see? Can you tell me? Do you understand my story? Cause all I want is love For someone else to see if you took the time, I have a song. So I'm just going to tell you guys what the Lord is telling me. Show more love. Show more compassion. Stop thinking about yourselves. Like I think Lynette said, it's time to stop focusing on our problems and our issues. And it's time to turn all that energy towards people that actually need help. Because God has us covered. We're wasting our time worrying about our own problems. The Lord said, don't worry about what you're going to wear tomorrow, what you're going to do, and what you're going to do that. Tomorrow have enough problems of its own. Worry about the now. And how can you say you love me, but you don't even love your brother that, that you can see and standing right in front of you? 
a lot of the, the, the church, and I'm not just picking, I'm not picking on the church, just, just people in general. You go to church and you say you love the Lord, but you walk out to church and somebody walk up to you and say, hey, I really need help right now. Can you, and you look at them and say, I don't have it. And you got it right in your pocketbook or where you walk. How is that love? God is looking at you and shaking his head. Like, how can you say you love me, but you can't even love your brother right there? That is me. So really, you're not loving me. Wow. Amen.